Welcome, viewers. Uh, we are so lucky today to have you again here, Alice Corner at Channel 17. Um, and today we have special guests, and one of them is a high school student, and the other one is his dad. So they both live in Burlington. They, we will let them introduce themselves a little bit. Um, so today the emission is all about uh, student-led initiative to support uh, Yemeni children. Um, we will delve into some conversation because Burlington is a special place and Burlington we don't only support each other but we support also other people around other communities. Thank you so much for joining me, my guest. Uh, would you like to introduce yourself please? Yeah. Hello everyone, my name is Kather Hashim. Um, I go to Burlington High School. Um, I'm 15 years old. I am rising junior. Um, I came here in 2013 from Iraq with my family as a refugee. Um, my dream job is to be a cardiologist and hopefully I can serve my lovely community. Wonderful, wonderful. And how about that? Uh, thank you for having us here. Really appreciate that. My name is Ahmed Latif. Uh, I'm an attorney back in Iraq. Mm -hmm. I came with my own family, wife and six kids. Mm -hmm. Came here on uh, 2013. Wonderful. Um, so it seems that you both of you also came at the Burlington City Council. You made a presentation there. What was the topic about? Why are we here? Why are we having this conversation today with you? Um, yeah, we presented um, our work at the City Hall Councilor mm -hmm. of Burlington. Oh. Um, so the, the presentation was about the Yemeni kids mm -hmm. and what was happening in Yemen. Mm. And um, and again, today we're also talking about it in here. Yeah. And like, yeah. Okay. So, but I am curious and wanted to know what exactly are you working on? What is the situation in Yemen? And what are you doing to support um, Yemeni's children? So, yeah, um, what I'm doing is, um, is that I'm doing um, like raising money for them mm -hmm. and hopefully that can like somehow help them mm -hmm. um, you know litter is better than nothing absolutely so Wonderful. yeah um, and so as, uh, as we said we made um, an account uh, from GoFundMe mm -hmm. and that will also help and um, we made some shirts and pins and we also sell them absolutely so yeah um, yeah that's basically the plan Wow a 15 years old child from Iraq who is attending Burlington High School and as she said she's a rising star so that you must be very proud of your daughter oh of course I'm very proud of her because mm -hmm. as you said is a um, girl uh, such girl in this year in this um, old 15 years old and have this deep feelings to feel with the, what the other kids suffering from that's mm -hmm. uh, really amazing me and I supported her. Okay. Well that's great. So now what got you curious about this issue? Um, I mean it's a heartbreaking story mm. you know it's so yeah so as I said it's a, it's a really heartbreaking story and of how I got in curious is like usually my family we just talk about public stuff mm -hmm. public topics mm -hmm. and my dad is the one who usually talks about them mm -hmm. and so um he one night he was talking about the um speech that bernie sanders did mm -hmm. at congress mm -hmm. at the beginning of this year and so i saw the speech and like i was heartbreaking mm. and so um after that i did my research about it and find a lot of shocking facts mm -hmm. And then after that, I talked to my teacher and everything started from there. Wow, amazing. 15 years old child who been having public conversation with the family, mom and dad. And then from there, you heard Bernie Sanders who inspired you to look deeper into the issue. And then you talk to your dad. So basically, dad, uh, why are you supporting your daughter? Why couldn't you just say, oh, go to school. Don't worry about this. This is not your problem. But yeah. why? Actually, I supported her for two reasons. First mm -hmm. of all, um, as we said before, girl with 15 years old has such feelings to feel what the other kids suffering from. Mm -hmm. So I really uh, support that because at the same, back in my home country, Iraq, our, uh, the children over there are suffering mm -hmm. the same story. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. and the second thing, because when I was in Iraq, I participated in two campaigns 
both of them they was aiming women and children mm. one of them talking about the wives with missing husbands because this the, this campaign aiming to raise um, awareness f to those women to take necessary legal action because they don't know the legal action they should not to talk to, to take it, mm -hmm. to take it mm -hmm. so and, <coughs> uh, and that make them waiting very long period will take few years mm -hmm. and the second one is uh, the second campaign uh, and our title is um, out court marriage mm -hmm. and that kind of marriage the children produced by such marriages have no access to the mm -hmm. educational or um, health or any government service because they have no ID they have no any official document okay. so yeah for both of these reasons I really supported him. Okay, yeah. wonderful. And it seems that the problem there is not kids don't have clothes, could don't have um, soccer balls, but it's more than that. It's like uh, malnutrition, kids don't have the medicine, the basics that people need to survive, they don't have it. But can you maybe help us understand what are the conditions there? how are the kids are living and it seems you have you know you did research you've seen a lot of documentaries a lot of you know shows about it can you tell us a little bit what type of issues those kids are experiencing yeah so um they're they're basically um experiencing starvation mm -hmm. and a lot of diseases and sicknesses mm -hmm. um, um as i said i did a lot of research mm -hmm. and um one of the um website that I visited it was um, from the UN mm -hmm. and so that was like really helpful and like they showed a lot of pictures they showed a lot of facts and so like if you like just look at the pictures I think I think the pictures can speak itself mm -hmm. and so the like you can see the bones of these children mm -hmm. so yeah okay so are you the oldest in your family I'm the oldest sister you oldest sister so you have brothers and sisters younger than you I am pretty sure that they must be very proud of you as your dad is as well <coughs> but now you know you learned a problem you took an action and now what are the next steps in where you are I think you're doing great raising awareness of the issue but what are the next steps for you you think um, so my next step is I just want to raise more awareness of it. Mm -hmm. I want to raise more awareness about this whole issue mm -hmm. and about the campaign itself and the goal of it. Um, because I think that a lot of people have a very busy lives. Mm -hmm. And so I think I, like they don't have the chance to like, you know, maybe like watch the news or like maybe like they don't have the chance to just know about it. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I want to help with that. It's kind of my job. That's great. And you know, you immigrant, or you came here as a refugee, I believe, yep. right? And it seems that you were a lawyer in back in Iraq. Yes. And but what are you doing now in the United States? What 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 is your role here? Yeah, actually, I just graduated from Vermont Law School. I got oh. my master in law. Hmm. They call it a law in is a law in sentence is locum and or locum magistrate, and I'm planning to have. Um, bar exam here in Vermont. Mm -hmm. I submit my application, my application in the process right now. Mm -hmm. Once it's approved, hopefully I can take the exam on February 2020. Wow, February 2020. And we think that maybe back then Bernie Sanders would be a president. Let's hope so. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to also circle back around um, uh, the way that people can support this initiative. What can people do to help you with your initiative to help children in Yemen? Um, you know, just like, I don't know, like just kind of do some research mm -hmm. and like just have an idea of what's going on there okay. and maybe check out GoFundMe. Okay, and well, yeah, so people, if they wanted to donate, you created a GoFundMe page that, I mean, you probably have a Facebook account for it? No, not yet? No, not really, no, but working on it. Okay. And, but, you know, part of your plans in the future, will you be considering maybe in the future, you know, to go just and visit yeah. how things are there and the money that you uh, collected, how is it being used? Is it a plan for you in the future? Um, it's a good idea. It's a good <laughs> idea. You know. Yeah. So something so, to yeah. think about. Yeah, something to think about. Wonderful. And so last Monday, 
uh, let's say Friday, Sunday, last Sunday. <laughs> the Muslim, you guys Muslim, right, yeah. like me, um, they did a big celebration called Eid al Adha. And how was the celebration like? And do you think people are, uh, feel safe here as Muslim? How is the quality of life for people like you who immigrated here doing great work? How is it like? Yeah, I'm talking my experience here in Vermont. Uh, the people here very peacefully and very friendly. Mm. Actually, we feel, as a family, we feel safe. Mm -hmm. And uh, we don't think there's any threat in here. Mm -hmm and thanks God for this. Absolutely. Uh, but um, as a Muslim, we need to be play positive role in community mm -hmm. because that's what I'm raising my kids about. Uh, I'm all the time uh, telling them they need to be educated mm -hmm. in order to help their lovely community. Mm -hmm. So as a Muslim, part of the diversity, mm -hmm. we are very happy here and we supported this idea, diversity. We need all the people from all uh, backgrounds. Absolutely. And that's what makes our city and our state the best as it can be to yeah. embrace the diversity, the equity that is needed. Yeah. So, uh, Kalza, you probably know a young girl doing similar work. Her name, I believe, is Greta. She's from Sweden, I believe. It's all about climate change that she's doing. She organized a march every Friday. All students get out and do so much around, you know, to protest against climate change. You familiar with her at all? Um, I've heard of You've her heard name. Of her. Okay. So it seems that currently, you know, there is this big meeting that is happening in uh, New York City, United Nation. All the leaders around the nation will be coming. And she was invited to talk about climate change. Mm -hmm. But as a, as a way to address this issue, she refused she took an airplane. She refused to drive, but she is currently in a sailboat sailing from Europe to New York City. Mm -hmm. So basically to send a message, a general message that the world, we basically in a planet, you know, and I yeah. think you can say it, because it seems you're from Iraq, mm -hmm. but you are helping kids who are in Yemen. But why don't you, why didn't you think about kids who are in Iraq? Why people, kids who are in Yemen? Um, because, I mean, you know, the whole world is a small village. We need to help each other. Mm -hmm. It's like a, an immoral duty. Yep. So, yeah. And also, the same thing happened in my country. My country had a lot of wars, mm. a lot of um, UN sections, a lot of um, government terrorism. Mm -hmm. And the kids from all of that, they suffered the most. Mm -hmm. they, they had starvation. Mm -hmm not like shortage of medicine, mm -hmm. um, basic supplies is food. So I don't want that to happen to other kids mm -hmm. from all around the world. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm helping. Wonderful. And you know, your dad is a lawyer and initially you did talk about what you want to become when you graduate from high school. Mm -hmm. What is it? Um, I want to become a cardiologist. It's my dream job. So hopefully um, after graduating from high school, I can go to UVM. Mm -hmm. And then from there, everything will start. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's amazing. She is on her way. She's going to places, people, I'm telling you. <laughs> um, so, Dad, you know, uh, for example, you had brothers and sisters, I'm sure, you know, you yourself. And how are you managing raising your kids in this country compared to in Iraq, where it's all basically, you know, military ruling system where maybe girls don't have the power that they might have in here. How do you manage all of that in pushing them to become the best they can be? Yeah, uh, this idea back to Iraq, when I was an attorney or a lawyer, I was educating them about the rule of law mm -hmm. concept. That means there's no one above the rule mm -hmm. and the law protect you, protect your safety and so on. When we came to United States, so we found the freedom of religious, freedom of speech, and rule of law mm -hmm. concept. So they found what I was talking it was in Iraq before. Mm -hmm. So they like it. Even we got some problems, of course, where, and challenges when we first came here. But after that, they realized, mm -hmm. found what we was talking about. Mm -hmm. 
uh, and they like it when I was telling them they need to build up this community. Mm -hmm. They need to um, participate to save this safely environment mm -hmm. uh, when you have right to speak, mm -hmm. when you have right to express about your feelings, you have right to express your religious, mm -hmm. and you need to respect rel others' religious mm -hmm. at, at the same time. So they like it. it. I was, it will be difficult for me to let them rise up in this way, but mm -hmm. I surprised it was easy because the, all the society mm -hmm. helped me about that. Absolutely, yep. absolutely. Um, so it seems that, you know, what you're doing here with them, you have been talking to them about the, the rule of law, you know, respecting everyone, respect, embracing the differences. And now when you came here, it seems that it, they seen what you've been talking about in yeah. terms of supporting each other, supporting. Um, but Calder, you know, whenever I see you, you still have this, you know, and you go to school, you're young. And do you experience any, you know, type of discrimination or judgment about the way you, the clothing you wear, you know, like within your school, your friends and? No, no, no they're, they're really friendly and they're nice. They're really friendly and they accept you and there are other people who wear just like you too. Okay, that's, uh, that's great. And um, so the GoFundMe page looks like you're working on it mm -hmm. currently. It's not ready yet. But when it's ready, you should be able to send it to me. It will be on my website, alijeng.com, and we will definitely send it to Channel 17 as well to put it there. But currently right now, if people wanted to make a donation, mm -hmm. since you don't have that um, set up yet, where people can, 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 can donate? Should they just send it to who? The schools, your house, or, 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 or what? What so, would be the best way? Um, We've already made um, like an account on Mercy Corps, like a fundraiser page, where people can um, go there and mm -hmm. like they can um, just like click and donate. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's it's really it's a really easy process. Yep. So yeah. Mercy and, Corp. Yeah. Okay. And is it an international organization? It's an American international organization. American international organization. Thank you for that education. So viewers, as you can hear, you want to donate for this great cause of a young 15 years old Burlingtonian going to Burlington High School who took this initiative. As she said, you can make your donation at Mercy Corp. Um, it's a very easy process where you can just put some click and donate to the great cause. Um, this is amazing. And um, so it seems that we have a little bit of amount of time and there might be a couple of you know things that you feel like I missed to ask you that is important for the viewers to, 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 to know. Any, anybody for you? Yeah, for me, um, I like to take this opportunity and appreciate and thanks all the people who helped my daughter, mm -hmm. especially the her school and teacher and all the people that support her, supporting her. Yeah. Uh, we are really happy we are here. We are really happy for, for these feedbacks. Yeah. Thank you. That's, that's great. And uh, how about you? A uh, message you want to send to the viewers, Burlingtonian watching? Um, so my message is to stop all the wars. Mm -hmm. And um, because, I mean, when a war happens, it won't just affect the civilians. It will also affect the soldiers. And not to mention a soldier also have a loved one, so also have a spouse, mm -hmm. sorry, spouse. Mm -hmm. Um, also have parents, kids, mm -hmm. community that loves them. Mm -hmm. So, and also when a war happens, it will also affect um, like the countries, mm -hmm. um, like economically, mm -hmm. environmental, um, humanitarian, yep. and so um, and socially too. Mm -hmm. So it will bring all these challenges. So. Mm -hmm. Yep. Please have all the wars. So the um, message, no wars, please. <laughs> <laughs> we wars. want peace. We don't want war. Yeah. And I think the message is very clear because only when two people are fighting, the consequences, the effects, you know, affect all members of society, yeah. whether they military or their families or mm -hmm. just community, economy, everything. Yeah. So no war. We want peace. We want justice. And we want inclusion. Um, it has been a great honor um, having you here today. And viewers, as you know, Ali Corner is always the third Monday of every month here at Channel 17. 
for more information about this show and the past show, please visit my website, alijeng.com. Thank you so much for, and uh, have an incredible day today. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you.